Hey, good morning. Jay Nicholas, Chris Daughters, CaddisFlyShot.com. This is an absolutely amazing tool. If you want to make popper heads, this is the Gary Krebs Foam. What the heck is it? It's a popper jig. Popper jig. So what, what do you do? Um, you want to make you want to make poppers. Uh, I've actually been new to the popper game, and I've experimented with a lot of different ways of making these things, hand cutting them, buying kits. What this allows you to do, it provides. I'm gonna, let me grab the right size if I can. It allows you to cut to make the front surface and a beveled rear surface, surface and come out just the right style. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that, but first what I want to explain is the two different sizes, small, large. This is called bass and bonefish. This is generically called salt water. Now the, one of the things that's kind of confusing, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, you might think that there are six sizes of foam used. Uh-uh. There's only five. These work great with the River Road foam cylinders. So they have one quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, uh-oh, three eighths, seven sixteenths, and half inch. So the key thing here is that the smallest jig on the large unit is the same as the largest jig on the small unit if you follow that. So let me show you briefly how to use this. This is the uh, the 5 16th size and this is um, this is a really nice size. No, oh, oh, so, so these these kits come with a razor blade flexible. Um, sorry Gary, I don't care for this. You know, it, it, fact is, I don't. Now, this could be my ineptitude, no problem. Uh, I like just a, um, a firm backed straight edge razor blade. The, uh, this little needle, in theory, well, for sure, it will hold your foam in place. In theory, you can use it to string rubber legs. Uh -uh, no way. So that thing is just just poked in. It's, it's not just, really. It's not all the way in. Yeah, it's you just, can it's just, you can poke it all the way through if you if you wanted to, but I can't imagine why you'd want to. You can't really pull foam through a hole this small. But we're gonna get that to another video. So that is just to hold it there. That's what I, that's what I use it for. Just to hold it okay, there. Okay. Okay. So with my razor blade, I'm gonna cut across that face. And then I'm going to cut down along this surface. And then I'm going to cut across through this notch. So let me show you how cool this is when you pull your handy dandy needle out of there. And Chris, can you, um, let me see if I can jab this on here to show you. The front surface has an angle on it. We have a nice bevel here and a straight edge on the back. Now I've fished these things. Haven't caught anything yet, but I fished them. And when you pull this popper, it throws um, a nice, now this size probably throws a little sheet of water this high. If you use the next bigger, bigger size, it'll throw a sheet of water this size. It's a little narrow plume it throws absolutely awesome looking um, so very easy to use and one thing I'll mention that uh, the four smaller sizes one two three four uh, four you can get two poppers per cylinder when you get to the largest size the half inch it turns out the cylinders really aren't long enough to get two uh, popper heads mm -hmm. of the same length. So you, uh, you get a pack of six of these cylinders, you can get six full length, full length popper heads or six full length and six that are a little bit shorter than, than the others. So this is very handy, large size, 
small size. Um, these two jigs are identical on the two sets. Um, have at it. They're very easy to use and they give you an absolutely a picture perfect product. Next thing we're going to do is talk about how to drill a hole to put the rubber legs in.